Oh my god. Sports massages, deep tissue massages. And not for the faint hearted. Look at the wild hair. This is what happens if I blow dry it. It just goes ridiculous. I actually have very wavy hair, so the only good thing that comes out of blow drying it is it blow dries quite straight, but in probably give it a couple of hours, it'll be wavy again, so almost no point, but it really needed washing. Uh, and I just think it makes you feel a little bit better when your hair's clean. I'm clipping it up because I'm going to sort this face out. It's super dry, as you can see. And I think that is down to with us not having the boiler all last week and having no heat. Now, since we've had the heating put back on, uh, the heating's been on ridiculous amounts of time. So I'm just popping this on, which is my rosacea skincare, which I started this week. Yeah, we've been kind of a bit stupid with the heat, I think, because we missed it so much. We've just had it on a little bit more than we should, probably. So I've actually just gone and turned it off because it's not doing any good for my skin my hands are really dry as well so I'm gonna put some hand cream on how are you guys doing this morning I hope you're all well well it won't be morning when you watch this well it'll be afternoon but I hope you are going to have a good day hope you've had a good day let me know what you've been up to today my day is consisting of studying shock and oh, my rings are stuck I don't like to put hand cream and stuff on when I'm got my rings on, I don't know why I just don't, but just this uh, dry hand repair cream. Um, yeah, my, my day is going to just consist of getting cracking on with this assignment. Yesterday I actually finished an entire learning outcome, which I'm really happy about because I was quite behind last week with India being poorly and everything and the day the week just went really really wrong last week and everything that could have gone wrong did so trying to get my assignment done was near impossible so I spent two pretty much two full days back to back probably about six hours at a time so about 12 hours I spent on it and I've got an entire learning outcome done so I have three more to do um, so I really need to get a move on with that because I want it finished in the next two weeks. Putting my Aveeno cream on. I ordered a new one guys, for anyone who's been here before and watched my other videos. I was completely empty and running on spare parts last time but um, yeah, I got all that done so I want to try and make a bit more headway whilst I've got the full day off today. India is off school again so she went to a party as you would have seen on here went to the, a friend's birthday party on Saturday but she had to keep coming out of the play park and and sitting down and having a rest because her chest was not great now for those thinking why did you send your child to a party if she wasn't well she was loads better and didn't appear unwell so she seemed like she was other than just the usual tiredness that you get from being sick uh, and being unwell that's all she seemed to have. She just seemed a bit lethargic, but she didn't seem like she was coughing much anymore. Her nose wasn't that snotty and she just seemed a lot better. And she said she felt better and did clarify it with the parents that we were taking, taking her to the party to and they said it's fine, yeah, just bring her. So she went and she had to keep stopping for breaks because she just couldn't manage it. And as soon as we got home from the party on Saturday, she just completely passed out on the sofa and was asleep for hours. And she hasn't been right since. So she obviously wasn't better like we thought and hoped that she was. And if anything, it's probably not done it any good at all. And she is now still asleep. And it is... It's 20 past 10. Oh, 20 past 10. On. See, just so that you know that we do do these vlog vlogmas days on the days we say... I don't know if you can make that out, but it does say the 5th of December. But yeah, 20 past 10 and she is still fast asleep. So, ah, oh, it's just, I've got an email from uni. Anyway, 
that's that. So I'm just going to get my makeup on because even though I'm not going out anywhere, I like to sometimes do my makeup off my home just to make myself feel a little bit better. Um, I also have a new foundation, so I'm not entirely sure what the colour is going to be like. Yikes, it looks a bit dark. Um, but yeah, sometimes it just makes you feel better being done up even though you are at home. It can just kind of help you feel a little bit better. So put together kind of uh, a bit of an illusion to yourself. Um, and later on today, I have a massage booked in. Now, I can't see it being a very enjoyable massage because it is a sports therapy massage, which I've never had one, but Lee said they are pretty brutal. But brutal is what I need because I have suffered with a bad back for seven years now. So I had India by C-section. Um, she couldn't be born any other way. It was elective. And since having the epidural in my back, my back's never been the same. But then adding to the mix all the years of care that I've done and all of the nursing that I do. And when I had my beauty business doing eyelashes, I was literally leant forward, like hunched. And that was like five plus years of that. So yeah, my back's pretty bad, but it's got to a point now where I'm, I'm in a lot of pain permanently. So something needs to be done. Um, and Lee said his friends, not sure if it's his girlfriend or his wife, um, has a sports massage therapy company in the area that we live and she's that good that she's actually provided her services to those who attend the Olympics so she is very very good so that is where I'm going tonight because you should absolutely always look after yourself guys and especially your back we only get one of them we obviously only get one of most things but your back is what holds you up and as a nurse you are going to need to be held up quite a bit sorry I'm really struggling to put this on at the same time as talking to you because I'm looking through the camera lens and it's not so easy apparently it's quite painful to go through like the experience of it but it's worth going through it so we will just see but that's today's plans and uh, yeah, I will check in in a bit. straw in I'm not being extra but because I've just done my makeup and everything I've just got like a little wooden straw to drink it with so it doesn't take up my, my lipstick off anyway um got my coffee got my iced water I showed this on my nursing Christmas guide and I absolutely love this cup told you I use it I do use it all the time so make sure you stay hydrated guys because a lot of people forget about being hydrated in the winter um because it's not hot but your body needs to use water to work just the same in the winter as it does in the summer months. So stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking your water, especially when you're studying. I have these little guys for snacks. Um, salt vinegar flavoured pop, pop out chips, which I've never had before. They're from Aldi, but Indy gets the barbecue ones and she likes them. So uh, two little chocolates, which I don't even feel like having at the minute. But that's it, really. I have, as you've just seen, washed my hair and clipped it up. And I was going to take it down, but. I just think it looks all right clipped up. I haven't even touched it. So I'm going to leave it up because I'm putting my headphones on anyway uh, while I study. Now, let me just bring you here a minute. So, dog's going to bark because the postman's just coming up the drive. Bear with. No, I post for a few days because the post postmen have been on strike. There's the postman. One minute. As I was saying, if you've been to this channel enough times before, you'll know, especially from my study with me video, that when I study, I like to listen to things that I'm familiar with. So such as like films or TV programs. And that's so that I've got something on in the background, but because I know it well enough, it's not going to distract me because I already know what's being said and things that are going on, if that makes sense. However, I have wanted i think i've expressed it on here to you guys that i want to get back into my mindfulness meditation my self-care self-healing kind of vibe that i practiced for many many years and um, but then just suddenly stopped doing it and i kicked myself about it because it really helped me as a person so 
I've been actually listening to Hertz tones and I was really skeptical about it at first. I thought, how is that going to help me to study? Because I don't know, I just didn't think it would, but I've put them on the last couple of times and I've honestly been so productive with the Hertz tones on. I've put on, I'll just show you, vibe set by the way. Even if it's in the middle of the day, I'll still light my candles, guys, because, you know, you've got to set the mood. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the one I've been listening to and it's on for seven hours so it's really good for studying because you don't have to keep going back and changing it but these are hertz tones which work on a vibrational level to your spirit your soul if you're into that kind of thing and yeah they work really nicely along with your chakras so this is a really nice focus music which really genuinely has helped me focus so that's where we're at so i'm going to get on with my study now because i've got a few hours to get it done and then I'm gonna go and get my massage. So this, what I'm doing today, by the way, is my essay, my 3,500 word essay. <clears throat> and it has to be in on the 16th of January, but we only get finished being taught the entire material on the 16th of December. So we still don't know everything that needs to go into it. And the 16th of December is when we break up for the Christmas holidays. We get two weeks off at Christmas. And then we go back in January for a full week in university in the skills labs, Monday to Friday, nine to half, nine till half four. Um, and then it's due in the week after. And the week after we also start our new clinical placement as well. So really, it's the two-week Christmas holidays that we've got to get this assignment done, this 3,500 word essay, which is just... Honestly, don't even get me started on that. But um, I've made a really good start to it because I have been reading through the materials that we have got so far. And I've been reading the learning outcomes and I've pretty much made sense of what needs to be done, I think, I hope. So I'm literally just going to crack on and do as much as I can. And obviously when we attend lectures each week, if there's anything new that I feel could go into the essay or if I feel like what I've written doesn't match what they've taught us, I can just take it out. But I'm going to do my very, very best to just try and get it done in the next two weeks and then just kind of like amend it here and there before it needs to be handed in. But that is the goal. So I'm going to get on with that because we are running out of time as it is with this essay. So I'm going to leave you guys here for a little bit. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to stand you up somewhere. Um, and yeah, I will uh, check in in a bit. my appointment i am due in at quarter past four and it is eight minutes past it's just behind me oh, honestly it drives me mad every time i try and film in this car uh, it's just this literally this building that's bricked all along here behind me that's where it is in that building so i'm literally packed outside 
don't know if I'm allowed to film inside. Probably won't be able to. Probably won't be able to film the massage anyway. But I'll try and get a little glimpse of the um, building and the actual place itself. But going in, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do any filming because my massage is actually an hour long. So if I was to film, then I'd have to stop halfway through the massage to turn the camera off, and it's just a bit. I'm not gonna do that. So. Out. I've got a big dint on my head from where I was laying on the bed. Oh my god. The sports massages, deep tissue massages. I'm not for the faint hearted. So glad I went though because it took her quite a while to get into the left side of my back. Um, and she even said it feels like you've got a metal rod in your back. It is that solid. So definitely made the right decision to come and get a massage. She sent me over some exercises that I need to do and incorporate into my day every day So that'll be a nice little thing that I can incorporate into doing my meditation and mindfulness time that I do each day so oh, I should be able to fit that in um, and then she's suggesting at this moment in time between every four to six weeks to come and have one of them deep tissue massages because pff, it was solid so Anyway, I'm gonna head home because it <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me it's quarter past five and I need to edit this video and get it up for you. So, thank you so much for watching again. If you are still with me on day five of Vlogmas, then hats off to you guys. Please do go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more content. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.